chat is gonna be live chat. Okay, we're live. Hey everybody. Good morning everybody. Oh wait, I need a, I need a microphone. <clears throat> I really don't, but you tell me it sounds better when I have one. So, oh, well, everybody just joined. Wow, that was fast. Good morning. Boy, the chat just went cuckoo. How's everybody on this fine Friday? You guys good? We have hellos and good mornings from so many friends. Well, good afternoon to Sweden. Uh, Ray would like to know how you are doing this morning. You're doing great, thank you. It's late in India. Um, Ashley says, excited for today. I'm a fellow watercolor artist and love learning new skills. I'm painting on a Chinese scroll next. Oh, I apologize. I'm doing gouache today, but that sounds still really happy cool. You're here. How do you paint on a Chinese scroll? Are you using those um, Chinese characters or are you painting a, an image? Are you painting a, a picture? I'm curious. I, I've seen lettering on a Chinese scroll, but I've never seen painting on a Chinese scroll. Um, we are doing fine. Why did I think this image was for the evil mum from robots? LOL. <laughs> Um, it's Saturday morning for me, says Honey Cloud. Who's your favorite Marvel superhero? Spider-Man. Just got back from school because I'm in the UK right now, LOL. Brandy B says good morning. Hello. We have a Nixia, we have a Steph Nerd, and we have a Bethany. Um, I don't know if you have a favorite uh, Hunger Games character, do you? No. Scott didn't read the books. Starry X Mooney says hi. Hello. They are eating and then we'll continue embroidery. Who are you painting? I don't know. Honestly, I thought I would try something like a uh, goddess of war. But honestly, I've. I'm just painting just to paint. I think he's tapped out today, guys. Good night and hello from Indonesia. Good night and hello. Hello from Kansas and Utah. Hi from New York. It's 4.05 in the Netherlands. Greetings from Greece. Greetings. I'm rushing an art assignment that's due in an hour, says Lima Beans. Uh, <laughs> been there, done that. Mm, hi from Malaysia. Hello from Australia. Hello from Morocco. Hello, hello, hello. My first time joining your stream. I've had a few friends ask me to help them with gouache, and I have not painted with gouache in a long time. So I thought I would at least do something. Do you do charcoal drawings? I haven't done charcoal in many years. Will you draw any of the Rick Reardon book characters? Um, I don't know. I don't know. My my son was into the Percy Jackson stuff. And what was the other one? The Lightning Thief or something like that? Or was that Percy Jackson? That's Percy Jackson, yeah. What was the other books that he liked? Um, I don't remember. He read all of them, though. Either we own them or he yeah. borrowed them from the library. Do you want to mute when I hit blow dryer? Or should I just shout blow dryer? I don't know. What do you guys want? Do you want him to yell blow dryer? We're going to be doing a lot of blow drying today. Mm -hmm. So just be prepared, all right? Katzy just got done watching Animal Crackers. Oh, I hope you liked it. Blow dryer.
you be Jesus. Hey, Scott, when I describe you to friends, I say you are the most wholesome art YouTuber I know. Oh, that's very kind of you. Thank you. Um, I'm sure there are much more wholesome people. Anne X says, hi, I just got the How to Paint Animals book and I love it. Thanks, Scott. Sure. I loved that book growing up. Let's see. First time joining a live, Gamoria. Oh. Pranav says, you mean you're draw drawing Athena? Yeah, that was the, the thought. But oh. my the problem I have is is if I say it's a specific god or goddess from a specific thing, people are going to say, well, that's not the kind of headwear they would wear. That's not the kind of this or they would look like that. And so it's just easier to just say a goddess of war. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm just, I just <clears throat> decided to do this 20 minutes before the live. I put no thought into this, um, no planning. I keep telling people you don't plan these things. They don't listen. Um, hello from the islands of Malta. I'm so inspired by your art and I'm painting right now. Oh, hello. Um, Ashley says, on scrolls, typically peacocks, women, people from the dynasties or landscapes are depicted on the scrolls. These scrolls are artwork that can be taken down from the wall and can be switched. Nice. Very cool. It's really cool. Finn says, I'm not going to lie. It looks like Wanda. <laughs> um, I feel like I'm headed to war. Can you give her flaming red hair? Hello from Dubai. Hi from Lithuania. Hello. Seems like a Valkyrie. I had a hard day in school, but I'm happy I'm here now. That's Octocat. Aww. We're happy you're here too. We're happy you're here too. Hi from Poland. Hi from India. Stone Empire is working on digital art while watching you. Hi from Italy. Hello. Um, you know, there's just some days you just oh. want to just splat some paint down and not be very precise. And I don't think I'm going to like this. I think I'm going to throw this away. Um, just a heads up. I'm just not in a very artsy mood today. But um, we're at least going to chat and see what we can do. Hi from South Africa and Bosnia and Indonesia and Canada and Australia. Hello. Let's see. Mm, he is just painting to paint. First time I've been able to catch one of these. Good morning, Ellen. Good morning. Hope your art show is going well. Blow dryer is a fun way to dry paint. It is. And here we go again. Blow dryer. Screeches of the blow dryer. Um, they would like to know what kind of paint brushes you're using. I am using the uh, Etcher Labs uh, flat paint brushes. Why are you using flat paint brushes? I like using flat paint brushes uh, when I do gouache to try to give it more of a painterly feel. Oh, okay. So. You know, it's just... I noticed you did that. I was just a lot. I'm wondering why. Do you have a favorite DC character? Superman. Do you have any tips for how to get out of a painting slump? I want to paint, but I can't find any inspiration. Yes, there are videos on that. In the Art Hacks playlist. Yes. Um, hi, Scott and Donna. I'm trying to ink an afro, and I'm having a little trouble. Any advice? Yes, there's a video on that, too. It, just look for uh, drawing afro textured hair. 
Um, um, I'm on my third day of my Donna painting. It's coming out wonderful. I chose a photo from your 30th anniversary video. I've enjoyed every moment of painting you. Wow, well, thank uh, you. That's very kind. As someone who has drawn her many times, you are in for a treat. Oh, boy. Um, yes, the Red Pyramid. That's the other set of books. Yes. The Lightning Thief and then the Red the red Pyramid. That's correct. Um, let's see. The Screeches of the Blow Dryer of Doom. You're so funny. Um, Katzi says, it was a good movie. I loved it. It's one of my favorites. Wow. Thank you. It is high praise. Tippy says, you. I watch Animal Crackers every day. Wow. Thank you very much. I'm sure Netflix appreciates that too. Um, no Name says, Hey, Scott and Donna, a while ago you gave me <clears throat> tips on drawing more masculine characters, and I just want to say thank you because it has helped me so much. Oh, really? Thank you. That's good to know. Low dryer. So just to talk a little bit, not every day feels like making an art day. And um, I just, today, I just, I thought, well, I'm going to just throw some paint on. I'm going to just play around and we'll see what happens with no expectation of actually keeping the piece. So I'm just playing around and I'm just throwing some paint around and uh, and we will see what happens. But it's I'm not around Friday. You're good. Yeah, I'm not saying that's a great thing, but I would say that it's definitely something to do if you're just feeling like you're in a rut. Um, personally, I think it's better to leave the house and go draw something than it is to sit around and just do you know this, but I can't take you all with me, so. Traditional animation or CGI? What's your preference? I don't have a preference. Good, good, good uh, animation is good animation, and good storytelling is good storytelling. It doesn't matter whether it's stop motion, CGI, two D, live action. It's it's all it's all the story is what's going to do it. Santa says, "Happy day, everyone." Hey, Santa. Um. I don't know. Do I look? Do I like Nirvana? Mm. No, you never got into them. I, I have to ask Scott because I never remember what songs I like or who they are from. Oh, thank you. You're very kind. Um, what's your favorite Batman movie? Um, it would have to be. Uh, uh, the one with Heath, Heath Ledger was it The Dark Knight? Oh, not my favorite. I mean, I loved uh, the first two Batman movies with uh, the Tim Burton ones. Um, let's see. A lot of people are asking what you're drawing. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Uh, hold on, let me get some more paints. Have you ever thought about making a video to react to fans' artwork? Did I tell you Santa said good morning? Yes. Sir. Okay. Um, no, I have not. I don't... Um, let's just say I don't react. <laughs> that will, uh, I'm the reactor of the family. Yeah, is. What is my favorite art piece that Scott did? Is it up on the table? Yeah. Okay. Scott will show you my favorite art piece that he's done. I'm trying to figure out which one of these purples is the purple that I need. Um, this is the one. Yeah, that's my favorite. It's a rather large piece. I like it. Um, the tea today 
let's just say Donna didn't sleep last night. Um, we had some puppy issues yesterday morning that I had to deal with. She's fine. She just, um, <laughs> she made a giant mess in her bed yesterday. So when I got up yesterday morning at five with her, um, she had to have a bath and the bed had to go in the trash. It was just not a, it was not a good day yesterday. So she got a new bed last night. Um, and, um, and then she didn't sleep. So, um, she was up at two and then I was up from two to four and yeah, it's, it's just been a long, uh, yeah, it's been a long day. Um, let's see. Have you ever tried abstract doodling? No. What brand of paint is this? Um, usually Windsor and Newton, but um, hold on a second. This particular one, which is a really nice color, is M. Graham and Company. So I like their, they, I guess Windsor and Newton didn't have a Payne's Gray. Don't know why. Mm -hmm. Ellen's um, going to go back and put up some more stuff. She sold some paintings. Oh, that's great. Yay. Um, what do you do when you first wake up in the morning? Um, I get dressed. I come downstairs into the hobbit hole and I usually just go online and check all the socials and see what's going on see if there's anybody who needs me or if anything happened and um that's that um did i miss the painting of the thing that's on the thumbnail no i just didn't know what to put for the thumbnail so i just grabbed an image what is your favorite greek myth i don't really have one um I never really read any of them or, or, or whatnot. But I, I love the idea of gods and goddesses, you know. Um, Hassan says, hey, Scott, I'm a huge fan of yours. I wanted to ask, how do you concentrate for an extended period of time? I don't. I don't. Um, I take a lot of breaks. I maybe paint for 20 minutes and then... Um, and then I had, you know, I'll go upstairs or I'll do something else or I'll check the internet or I'll do something. But I am not very good at that. And uh, and so I've learned to work around my uh, inabilities. So right now what I'm looking for most is the values. Is I am just trying to get all the values in so that way I don't know it feels like uh, or at least I know what's going on values are colors no values are just levels of darkness okay so you know this is a light value and this is a dark value and these are kind of mid-tone values and I'm gonna eventually get them you know darker and darker and darker so if I go with more paint you see it's got it now it's got a darker value how do they share um their art with you uh we have a discord mm -hmm. and if you want me to see it just tag me um did you do anything on lighting because people are asking for some tips on lighting i really haven't done anything on lighting um there are some really good oh boy what nothing go ahead there's some really good teachers out there who who, who can um, talk about it in depth, but uh, it's not really something that um, I don't really know how to how to discuss it. I can I can work my way work my way around it, but not really. I think what's going on? Nothing. Okay. I am just. Um... The question that made me go, uh-oh, is uh, Anine Aziz asks, what is your favorite thing about your wife? Presently nothing. Oh, yeah. I hate her. Yeah. She's the worst. Yep. Do you ever get tired or demotivated? Yeah, currently I am. 
you know? Hence uh, where we are today. Yeah. I'm just... Um, this live usually goes 90 minutes, so we will be here from 9 to 10.30 a.m. Central Time. Um, are you using black directly? No, no. The darkest that I've put down is Payne's gray. Santa asks, how are your other projects going? Uh, they all kind of crashed and burned. Painfully. Yeah. Again. <laughs> um, we do not watch SNL. There is a video on how to get over art block. Um, is this gouache or watercolor? This is gouache, which I haven't used in a couple months. And um, so I'm just... I, I, I... Were you good in math? No, he no, stunk at math. I still am. Yeah. Um, but um, I, I just have no expectations with this painting. I expect it to be horrible and... Um, and I'm okay with that. It is a bit different when you're painting live because you want to do your best and you want to, you know. Um, Pyro really likes your colored pencil videos. Will you do something similar soon? Uh, I could try. I, I really don't do colored pencils we do anymore. Have, we do have some new paints for him to try that came in. Yeah, we, we I opened the box. Oh, you did? Yeah, it's really nice, you know. Oh, that's um, good. The company sent us some Hemi gouache. And some, and some watercolors. Well, that's, yeah, and so that'll be good to see. Um, the people who have the little wrench next to their name are our mods, and they are friends of ours. And they help us with the channel, because um, there's a lot of you, and um, they're just really awesome friends, and they help us out. Um, Toast wants to know how to grow their art channel. Uh, consistency. Definitely be consistent with your um, posting. Try to post every day or every other day or something. And then do something that you love. What was that magical device that Scott used to open the paint tube? I need that. <laughs> it's just a pocket knife. With uh, um, flyers on it. Yeah. Um, have you tried sketching with a fountain pen? Do people actually do that? Um, people do, yeah, people do that. Yeah, people do that, and they do that mm -hmm. very well, too. Uh, not really my forte, but mm -hmm. yes, they do. Um, he is not wearing the one ring. He is wearing his wedding ring. Do you have any experience with musical instruments? I took guitar lessons and piano lessons when I was a kid, but I didn't retain any of it. Scott has painted Esmeralda so many times. Not as much as me, but he has painted Esmeralda. Um, I don't have my blow dryer with me, so waiting for my paint to dry feels wild. Um, Saul Goodman Music recently redo one of your pieces, the Kurt Cobain one, and another Kurt Cobain sketch in your style, and I have to say I've outdone myself. Love from India. Oh, that's wonderful. Um... What type of painting tape do you suggest for doing paintings? Um, I did a video on tape. Uh, I do have the one that I like best uh, on our on my art supplies. Uh, you can go take a look at that. Um, so even though you made a video on getting over art block, I still get it. So is there another way to get inspired? Thanks. Um, oh, there's a million ways to get inspired, but mm -hmm. uh, those are the ones that I know. So I would say, try something else, look, you know, maybe ask other people, but I would um, see what inspires you. If a museum doesn't inspire you, if going out doesn't inspire you, um, I, 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 I'm out of ideas now. There's a lot of places you can go. The zoo, museums, botanical gardens. You could just take a drive. You could go to the park. Yeah. You could walk down your street and get inspired. Um, why did you start doing shorts and live streams? I love your content. Oh, thank you. Um, I got 
curious. Um, back in 2020, when my movie came out um, about TikTok, and so I joined TikTok, and I just I didn't know what to do because I was you know a traditional artist, and so I just was posting time lapses of paintings. It was actually Santa who's here today, who suggested that I get in front of the camera and talk a little more and and whatnot, and so with a lot of encouraging uh, I finally did it and um, and then it was winter of 2021 that um, my friend Dan Pavenmeyer suggested that I move over to YouTube and um, and so we did and that's how I started doing it um, Elizabeth I have heard of chocolate tea I have tried it. It does not thrill me. Um, I'm just, I'm really boring. I am a plain black tea kind of girl. I don't want any milk. I don't want any sugar. I just want it to be really, really strong. And if I haven't slept, I want it to be able to stand a spoon up in it all by itself. That's how strong I want it. How come you are not afraid to paint live? Um, there's always a bit of nerves but I think the thing that keeps me from uh, freaking out is just the knowledge that um, it's just paint and I'm not really embarrassed when I mess up because I've messed up so many times that um, it's not really a big deal to me anymore. And um, I think that that really just comes with putting yourself out there and realizing that um, learning what's really important you know family is important uh friends are important um trusting you know believing in yourself is important and so you've got to learn to to do that and that just takes time some people are naturally like that i'm not um but i i um i failed at so many things Spectacularly. Spectacularly. Mm -hmm. I mean, I did video games. I did animation. I did comic books. I was a writer. I was um, a director. Um, and, and um, you know, my art's not that great. It's, it's, it's you know, kind of middle of the road. And, and um, so I, I'm not trying to impress anybody. I'm just trying to hopefully hopefully encourage people to make art and um maybe make the world a little better um what's your most favorite thing to draw besides hair and your lovely wife donna i'm not kidding they typed it that's what it says so what's the third thing that you like to draw mm -hmm. um i like drawing muscles i don't do it very often you do not anymore. You draw a lot of hair. Yeah. Um, let's see. I wonder what aria she is singing, says Santa with a laughing yeah. emoji. No. Scott was not good in school at all, guys. You're going to ask, were you good at chemistry or any kind of science? He was not good at school at all. Um, there are videos on drawing mouths and teeth and eyes and ears and different things like that. Um, wanted to thank you for the Swiss first aid bag tour. Love seeing old things continue to be useful. Oh, my pleasure. Um, let's see. Blick is in the chat. Good morning, Blick. Hey, Blick. How are we today? How are we doing today? Oh, maybe this painting won't look like a god, but you will always be the god of painting to your fans. <laughs> thank you. Uh, Benedict asks, do you like your wife? Oh, very much so. She's my best friend. You'd never know it. Oh my God! Someone's feeling mopey today. I'm exhausted today. <laughs> yeah, don't can you take guys? It out on me. Can you hear it? He slept through the two the two a.m. dog awakening. Okay, so I'm a little bitter, and I'm so tired. And then she was up again at six. And God bless her. She usually takes her diapers off, and she didn't. She slept last night with a diaper on because she's taking all these heart meds and they make her, you know, have to go potty. And so she has to wear a diaper when she's in the house. But I'm telling you guys, I just could not go back to sleep. And then she got up at six and I was, I looked at her and I was like, no, <laughs> I just, I'm so tired. Anyway, 
um, to Donna have a hobby too. <coughs> I journal and I like to read. I have not actually read um, a book in a while, uh, like a fiction in a while. Um, I've been reading a lot of nonfiction, um, but not any fiction lately. Autumn says, sometimes zoning out and painting is the best thing you can do for your brain. Yeah. Does Scott have a general step-by-step -step process for his art, or does he just go with the flow and paint wherever he feels like painting in the spur of the moment? Um, I have a step-by-step -step when it comes to my watercolors, mm -hmm. but not, not stuff like this. Um, I am... I used to because I, I did gouache for like a good year or two and I had a, I had it down to a pretty good science but um, gosh that was five years ago yeah several was, years yeah. ago and I just so now I sit here and I go you know I used to like it but I think um, I, I can't finish a gouache painting in the time that uh, you know we do a live, and yeah. um, and they, they are very time consuming, and so why is gouache so much more time consuming than watercolor? Because watercolor, I can just throw a couple colors down and it's okay, whereas um, the gouache, at least the style that I'm doing, is very uh, a little bit more realistic. And so it is just constant, just, there's a lot more detail to it. You know, with the inking, with the, with the watercolors, I can just, um, I could do the details and the watercolors can be very, very loose. Hmm. And that's by design. So that way I can do a painting in 60 minutes. Interesting. But even when you do them in your travel journal, like when we're traveling, you still prefer to do watercolors that same way. The yeah. pencils, the inks, and then you layer on the watercolors. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, we're not adding any um, more mods right now. They are our friends that we know in real life. And, and they're, um, they've been with us for years now, so. Um, yeah, so we're not taking on new mods right now, but thanks for asking and, and for being interested in doing that. Um, advice for someone studying art next year. Um, be open to new things. I, I, I went into art school and I just wanted to do comic books. That was it. Comic books and colored pencils. And despite all of the efforts from the, the teachers to get me to try painting and learn about art history and everything I just wasn't interested um, there is a video on how to find your art style in the art hacks playlist um, why does every artist I know including me have self-esteem issues related to their art because art is very personal you're you know you're, you're creating something from nothing mm -hmm. and it's it's um, it's your creation you know, it, it's something that you made and it feels like like your children. And so, of course, you're going to be very self-conscious about it. You're going to mm -hmm. be very protective over it. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah. Um, Blick says, we are seeing so many artists adopting fountain pens for sketching. Great line quality and freedom to select a wide range of colors using a piston converter. Yeah, the piston converters are wonderful. Um and they also are more environmentally friendly than cartridges for your fountain pen because cartridges are made of plastic and you throw them away when they're done. So a piston converter is a, a better way to go, in my opinion. Blow dryer. However, I will add, if you are looking for fountain pen ink that is waterproof, you really have to be cognizant of the fact that the bottle must say waterproof ink. Um, I spoke to 
um, a proprietor at a very high-end pen store that I got a chance to go to. And they said not, there are a very, very small amount of inks that are waterproof. And usually it's only the black, not the colored inks. All right, so. I see this paint water. It is very murky, it's so I'm gross. gonna go dump it. Okay, you need me to go get more? Scott doesn't clean his art palette at all. Um, no, I do not like poetry. Um, oh, you're just gonna dump that in? Yeah. Okay. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Drinking water. That doesn't have propel in it, does it? I don't think so, no. <laughs> okay. Guess we're going to find out. What supplies do you recommend for a young artist on a budget? Pencil and paper. The, the number one thing is just pencil and paper. If you can do that, you'll be fine. Learn to draw before you start painting. Um, if you want to start painting after that, um, I, I would recommend either gouache or watercolor. Why did you name the character Esmeralda in the movie Animal Crackers? Was it after the car? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, the The character came first. And I named the, the, the car after the character. <laughs> Blick says, FYI, the Utrick Art Supplies team had to have some warm milk and a nap to calm down after you tried their watercolor. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Was it bad? I oh, God. I hope they weren't upset about that. I hope they, they thought the video was they, good. Um, I've had a few people tell me I said Utrecht incorrectly. I think it's, uh, yeah, well, people tried to correct me oh. in text, um, but. Uh, Scott has painted Esmeralda several times. How's the view from the Hobbit hole today? It's wet. It's it wet is and rainy. Mm-hmm. How do you do animation and how hard is it? Animation is not hard. Um, it is essentially um, acting. So your job is to be an actor. So you got a um, you get a scene, um, and you have to think how would it, how would a, an actor or a human being um, react in this? And so you're just trying to do something as natural as possible in that way what it's is, a lot of fun what is your favorite drawing board uh, it depends on the medium you're friends with dan povenmeyer yeah dan um dan wrote um two songs a, well no one song for uh for our film um in which ian mckellen does a duet with uh gilbert Gottfried. Oh no, Stefner says, Donna, maybe I shouldn't clean my palette. I was cleaning it and it broke. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Hold on. I missed. I missed a tip from Gail. Gail sent you a tip. Oh, Gail. And says, I'm sorry to hear that your other projects aren't going to plan. Thank you for keeping on swimming and spending your time with us oh. today. Thank you, Gail. I appreciate that. You're so now, You know, it is the life of Hollywood is, you know, every oh. all the contracts get signed. Everything is good. Mm -hmm. and, and then, then they cancel everything. Yeah, then they cancel it because someone wants more money. And, and yeah, you know, it, it's, you know, to, to go to, to back to Animal Crackers, um, you know, I, you know, we signed... Kaylee Cuoco from The Big Bang Theory to play Zoe, uh, John Krasinski's uh, wife uh, in the uh, in the film, and um, and I flew out three times yeah. oh to work boy. with her and John, and three times she did not show up because her lawyers um, wanted her to get more money, and she was making the same as all of the other actors. It was you know kind of like everybody was making the same amount of money, mm -hmm. and they had agreed to it. We, you know, we yeah. signed a contract, everything, mm -hmm. and then it, so we had to let her go. And fortunately, Emily Blunt, um, I guess, was reading the script John brought home and really liked it. And so um, so she came on the film. But, mm -hmm. it, you know, you can have a contract signed. You can agree. I mean, like I said, I flew all the way from, from Tennessee to, to Los Angeles to go mm -hmm. meet and work with her and nothing. And no, you know, no 
uh, shade on Kaylee Cuoco. Um, it was oh, probably I'll just her. her. It was probably just her <laughs> lawyer, you know, doing it. But um, and that's typically how it works too. They you don't talk to the actors. All of their people manage everything for them. Like the way we got Emily was completely. Well, no, that was through John. I know, but what I'm saying, it was not traditionally how it's done in Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. You have to go through the gatekeepers before you get to the actors. Yeah. yeah. And you have to go through their people, their manager, their you know. But that's agent, that's essentially whatever. what's happening right now with yeah. with our other projects is everything was signed we're all ready to go yep. you know we were supposed to go to new york to go oh god uh, yeah announce it blah 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 blah. Mm -hmm. and then last minute somebody wants more money or somebody wants this or somebody wants that and then the studio's like no we already gave you everything you wanted you agreed to this and um and, and you know we're just innocent bystanders we did our part you know yeah but you know there's always uh there's always the um, reverberation, you know, like pebbles in a pond. Why did you create the Hobbit Hole? What made you want to? I didn't. It was my friend Ron who, I mean, I think you guys, have, if you've seen enough of my videos, you know I'm a very introverted person. I don't really leave the house very often. Um, and, uh, and so you just, we always kind of just said I'm kind of like a hobbit. And... Um, and so I think it was kind of more of an inside joke for him than anything. And um, so that's really it. And he, he and his son put the time into it and they made a hobbit hole. I think he just wanted to come over and hang out in the hobbit hole. Smoke cigars, <laughs> drink whiskey. Um, would you like to travel to other countries? Yeah, we absolutely would. Mm -hmm. um, we have a laundry list. Yeah. Um, have you ever drawn in an anime style? Yeah, I did. I went through a Dragon Ball Z phase back in you know, around a after college. Um, does leaving your paintbrushes in the water too long ruin the brushes? Well, um. I've found that if you, you know, sometimes I'll just leave them in there, it'll smush them up against the bottom. So that's not good. So they lose their shape. Have you ever committed a crime? Oh, um, he yeah. He stole my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Throw me into jail. <laughs> um, I am here all week. And thank God for you all, it's Friday. I mean, I've sped. Um, oh, God. I, when I was a kid, I think I stole some candy once. You do realize Santa's in the chat, right? Uh, hey, he knows. That's true. He knows and he likes you anyway. Wow. That was the year I didn't get the roller skates I wanted. Mm-hmm. Thanks a lot, Santa. <laughs> and he's looking at you going, uh, really, Scott? Really, Scott, with his eyes above his glasses, just like this. See, He's just like that. See. Um, where did you release Animal Crackers? I've been struggling to find it because I don't have Netflix. Oh, it's it's just it's on only Netflix. on Netflix. Yeah. yeah, we are. Um, hopefully, in the next couple of years, we should have it out on DVD. So yeah, we'll keep you guys. Posted. If you see it anywhere else, don't buy it. It's not official. Yeah. Um, you know that's that's a bootleg or something like that or somebody pirated yeah um what's your favorite color paints gray they think i'm funny um arthi says it has a question about journaling i went to europe when i was eight and i'm 17 so i was wondering if i could make a chat travel journal about that now and any advice absolutely you can there's no rules to this stuff really did they ask you they asked me oh sorry and why'd you read it out loud because it said hey don i have a question about journaling i'm trying to read the questions Mm. Oh my God. Like it's always all about you. Hello. Yes. You can go ahead and go back and do that. I would recommend one thing. I would recommend writing out a list of notes, like bullet points for your trip that you want to include and go back and look at pictures and just write yourself a list so you know what you want to put in. I give you my blessings. 
And Scott gave you his blessing. So you're good to go. What more do you guys need? Um, Dalton has some tips for watercolors for you. Use two jars of water. One you can rinse most of the color off and the other one you can use for final swirling. Oh, that's nice. That's a technical term, final swirling. That's technical. Um, I thought it was awesome to have an actual couple play a couple in the film. It really was. They it worked were well. Fantastic yeah, they, together. They played off each other really well. That was their first uh, first time working together, and they had so much fun. Oh, they were fantastic. Fantastic. Um, let's see. Would you like to teach art? No. No, 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 no. I, I. Can you do a live stream of a of you painting Link for the upcoming release of Tears of the Kingdom? Um, no, because I will be busy playing it. <laughs> when does that come out again? Uh, I think May fourteenth, fifteenth, something like that. Okay, so I have two weeks until I don't see you for a month or two. <laughs> no, because you know, I will be playing it sparingly. Because I don't want it to end. Uh-huh. Okay. Do you have any tips for starting with gouache? Um, be kind to yourself. Don't expect much. Just, you know. Have fun. Yeah. Work work your, your mid-tones to uh, then your darks and then come in with your highlights later. <laughs> Told to Scott and Donna are the real life Owen and Zoe. Oh boy, howdy. Let me tell you. Um, will you be doing a painting for the new Harry Potter game? No, I don't think so. Nixie says May 12th is a release date. I got to put that on my calendar so I know when uh, when Scott will not be available any longer. Um... Can you teach us how to draw faces and to shade them? There are a couple videos on that. Did you like art school? Um, I, I did. I just wasn't a good student. What's your favorite color? Payne's gray. Hey, Emma's here. Hey, Emma. Oh, Ryan's got to go art with the high school kids now. Have a great day, everyone. Bye. Have a good day. What happens when you want to give up but still think you can work? Do you give up or do you continue painting? Um, you're saying give up on a painting? Yes. Um, if I still think it could work, I'll put it in the corner of shame, but I've never gone back and finished one. Um, if I absolutely know it's not going to work, I'll rip it up. Um, they want to know what you're painting. I, I'm just doodling at this point. I, I'm, I, I have no, like, I don't want to get into the details or anything. I'm just not really in a creative mood today. So, okay, I kind they, of started something I know I'm going to throw away. They want to know what are some beginner friendly art materials. And another person wants to know beginner friendly, uh, colored pencils. Um, Beginner friendly colored pencils, uh, I think, would be the Artex ones. Uh, we did a video on that. And then, um, oh, you could try the Crayola ones. I was not a fan. And then, uh, what was the other one? Um, colored pencils and then beginner friendly art supplies. Oh, beginner friendly art supplies is just pencil. Just, just pencil and paper. Yeah, pencil and paper. Um, let's see. What's your favorite art style that you've tried? Um, I think Art Nouveau is probably my favorite that I've tried. Um, I, if I could, I would do Pre-Raphaelite. Um, I've tried it a couple times and I think I was okay, but I think I'm, I'm better at pre-Raphaelite stuff. Mm, how many paintings have you ripped up? I think we've lost count now. Yeah. 
How do you cognitively decide if a painting is bad? Um, I think most of my paintings are bad. So, so for me, it is, um, it is usually, I think what we have is like, if, if, me at 10 years old saw what I was doing right now, they'd be like, wow, that's so cool, right? But me at 54 years old is like, oh, this is crap. And I, so I think what happens is, is that our um, expectations raise as our talents raise. And, and so that's, that's essentially where we are. And so, um, it's, it's not, cognitive you're just going I, I you either like it or you don't it's 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 a feeling more than it is anything else what did you enjoy uh what did you best enjoy in breath of the wild scott um i think what i liked was the, the open world i i loved jumping and you know being able to put out the little uh parachute thing and, and fly and I liked being able to um, take my time experiment I didn't like the puzzles like I'm, I'm just not a big fan of going in those 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 rooms and trying to figure out the puzzles and then you got to start all over that was frustrating but I think I did I did just like being able to kind of wander and um, explore Emma says the expression on this painting is how my feet feel today. LOL. <laughs> Scott, any advice on how to store your art when you have too much and it's overflowing? Um, get a portfolio. Those are those are pretty pretty good at, at um, storing your art, and they'll they'll keep it nice and and clean, or you know safe. Um, you can subscribe to the channel and it will notify you when we're live, but we go live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 a.m. Central Time. Oh, Soup says, our teacher has started up a real Scott and Donna fan club where he set up a room to broadcast the live so people can go chill and create art with you both. Really? Wow. That's so cool. Your teacher's awesome. That's so fantastic. I love that. What is your favorite alien character and predator character? Oh, I, I didn't have a, a, a favorite. They were all kind of the same to me. Um, what do I think about? Okay, so um, what do we think about spiders and lizards? They're great as long as they stay outside. If they decide they want to walk in the door, they better use one of their legs to be handed me a wad of cash to pay some rent. And then they better stay far away from me. That's how that works. How do I practice anatomy for 2D characters? Uh, figure drawing is the best thing. Have you played the older Zelda games? I did on the Game Boy. Um, what is your favorite piece you have made and what is your favorite color to use when you paint? Uh, favorite piece that I've made is probably the Animal Crackers movie poster and the Favorite color is uh, Payne's gray. Are you just streaming on YouTube or another platform like Twitch too when you go live? No, just just YouTube. Um, I, I'm I'm still trying to figure out what I would do for Twitch. Like I might do like a Saturday thing, um, but um, I haven't figured it out yet. I don't think it's going to be gaming, but I'm not sure if I want to just do art. Um, Scott does not name his art. Have you ever heard about Elden Ring? I have. I tried it. Wasn't really. Oh wait, no. Elden Ring was the um, very dark one. Um, you know, I wanted to, but it's just I'm not really into. It reminds me of like Diablo, and I I I, I like stuff a little brighter and cheerier. Looney Cool sent you a tip and then said, I used transfer paper, but it won't erase any tips. Oh, thank you. Yeah, transfer paper is, I mean, it's graphite, so it should erase mostly, but it is 
pretty permanent, you know, and it's, it's pretty strong. It can go on anything. So um, I wouldn't use transfer paper, uh, un, you know, for something like, say, watercolor. Have you ever drawn a painting without a reddish nose? Yes, lots of them. Yeah. Um, Not recently. No, it's, I mean... This one doesn't really have a reddish nose. And I wonder why I like it. This one does. What do you think about art books? I like them. I like looking at people's art. I've never read an art book. I have a whole bunch of them. But, um, yeah. Um, let's see. Have you seen the retro Volkswagen? Yes. I love those. I, I learned how to drive on one of those, the original ones. In this, you know, in the... Well, the 80s. Can I know which type of brushes are good for small detailing? I, I don't have a preference of a brand of brush, but, um, you know, obviously a smaller brush is going to be good for smaller detailing. Um, have you ever drawn with charcoals? Yeah, we did a lot of charcoal um, in figure drawing class. Are you using Windsor Newton or Hemi gouache today? Uh, Windsor Newton. How young is too young to start figure drawing? Um, I don't think there's a age limit. Um, I would think not. No, I mean figure drawing is figure drawing. So if if someone likes to to do figure drawing, let them. I've got to get rid of this one because this is. <laughs> Anne Marie says, if a spider wants to be in my house, it has to stay on the ceiling. Otherwise, it's a breach of contract, and the eviction process usually results in death by squashing. <laughs> that's that's accurate. I they I haven't had one that's come in the house with a wad of cash and it's little whatever tentacle hand or whatever that thing is um leg foot i don't know um do you have any tips for drawing in school i feel like when i'm at school it's more anxious because i know half of everyone in public it's like i'll never see them again so it's different um you're worried about what people are going to say um in school, kids are just jerks. So I, you know, I, I, I can't say that, you know, you're gonna have to, at some point, if you're gonna, if you want to be an artist, if this is something that you want to pursue, you're gonna have to be okay with people being mean, and it's it's never fun, but. That's just like there's no artist in the history of art that has ever not had to have someone not had to deal with someone saying mean stuff about their art yeah, ever. That's true. Michelangelo, yeah. Da Vinci, Van mm -hmm. Gogh, you name it. We all get haters yep. because art is subjective. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's there's no sports player. There's no this. There, there's it's just people want to be jerks. Especially so in high school. Oh, boy. You know, so I honestly, it's something that you're going to have to be okay with. You're going to have to learn to deal with. And, and um, so I would draw. I would draw proudly. And if someone says anything, you just look the other way. Learn to deal with it because people are jerks. Um, have you ever drawn or painted a cartoon character or just anything that is cartoony? Oh, absolutely. You'll see some uh, on on my channel. Um, Scott, instead of cutting the bottom of the pencil erasers, can you just sharpen off the top until it fits? Yeah. Yeah, you totally could. What markers do you recommend for beginners? Um, I like the, uh, was it Artbeak? Mm -hmm. I like Artbeak's uh, markers. They were kind of, kind of. Uh, they're good. They're cheap. Uh, 
Blobis sent you a tip and says, oh, have you, you had a good day? I hope so. Thank you. So far, so good. Uh, you know, this was just one of those days where you just didn't feel, I, I just didn't feel like making art, and I don't know why, but here I am, and I'm just kind of playing around, and, and I'll throw it away when I'm done. Um, have you played Overwatch? Yes, yes. Um, I made a, a video where I did a controller, um, and I painted uh, Reinhardt on it. Um, how do you feel about using Posca pens over watercolors as I've been doing that for a while? I, I'm sure it's it's fantastic. I, I don't like the way the Posca pens um, go over the, um, the watercolor paper. They kind of tear up the paper. Have you ever used oil paints? Uh, I have in high school. Is it okay if my table when painting is messy? My mom gets mad, though. I think it's normal to have a messy place. Yeah, my, my table's very messy. Okay, but in their mom's defense, are you using, like, the dining room table? Or are you using a place that's in the middle of the house? If so, maybe just keep your stuff corralled into a smaller section of the table. That's all. Um, what are your tips on charcoal drawings? Um, I, I use a smudge stick when I do it and that helps get me better values. Um, let's see. Your watercolor style is amazing. I love it. My pieces have been inspired by that. I have two inspirations. Um, you... Um, they just love your art. Well, thank um, you. How do you create a portrait with warm colors? And what colors should I use? Um, I like warm colors. And uh, I've done quite a few portraits with warm colors. But I would say... Um, what I like to do is I like to do warm colors for the skin tones. And then I will come in with cool colors for the shadows. And that's how I do it. So purples for the shadows. I can't focus in school. Do you have any tips for that? No, no, I, I'm, I'm right there with you. Um, I would just draw. I, I could listen a little bit when I'm just drawing. So I, but I like draw what you see, like draw your teacher, draw the desk in front of you. And then now your, your brain is occupied and then you can listen. But um, all right, I think I'm done with this. I'm, like I said, this was just kind of just a blah kind of morning, and I apologize. But, um, yeah, I just, you know, I, I, um, some days you just, you're just like, I just don't feel like making art. <laughs> so, actually, didn't you do, did we not go live on Monday, or did we? No, we went live on Monday. It was last Friday that we would go live. Okay, what did I draw on Monday? Uh, seal? Was Monday seal? Monday might have been seal. Okay, okay. Have you ever regretted ripping up a drawing or painting? No. No, I, I, um, I don't tear up my art lightly. Uh, that's why I have a corner of shame. And um, usually when you see me tear something up on video, it's because it's been sitting in the corner of shame for a few years. And I'm like, yeah, I'm never going to go back to that. Um, Anne Marie loves how all the colors are harmonizing together. It's gorgeous. Well, thank you. How did you feel in school? Were you ever bullied for liking art? I was never bullied for liking art. I was just bullied because kids are stupid, you know. Um, but uh, bullying stopped in high school. So I got bullied in elementary and junior high. And um, I think I had a growth spurt between... Um, junior high and high school and and uh i remember coming Did back you? yeah because because you're not a tall guy I, I i'm not a short guy and i was short i probably went from like mom's height to my height you know oh wow so it was like i came back in a I was, summer i don't know i just remember um, you know getting picked on by one kid and then you know freshman year in high school i saw him again and i was bigger than him so 
Do you like John and Emily's Quiet Place movies? Not particularly. I mean, I don't think they're they're poorly made. I just even John was saying that he's he wasn't a fan of horror films, and uh, but it was just an idea he had, and he wanted to kind of get it out. And um, Ruchi is participating in their first convention in Artist Alley next weekend, but they're shy and have big imposter syndrome, starting to regret it. But I also want to show my art. Does anyone have any advice? Yes, yes. Do do this. Just. Sit there and and give yourself something to draw. Yeah. So that way you that have something to do. Otherwise, you. you're just staring out and looking yeah. at everybody else having people come up to them. Mm -hmm. um, when someone comes to you, just be kind. Just talk just to them. just talk to them. Just say hi. Thank them for visiting tell them, your table. And, and and figure out what you're gonna say. Hi, mm -hmm. I'm an artist who does this. Just mm -hmm. break it down into one sentence. Mm -hmm. And um, I've also found that um, having prints. You know, for five, ten, twenty dollars mm -hmm. is so much better and so much more affordable than selling original art. We did Comic Con. Yeah. We went to San Diego Comic Con for nineteen yeah. straight years. Yeah. And um, I very rarely sold original art. Yeah. It was it was always prints. Prints um, is what people you know they just want they want to come and they just want to spend a few bucks mm -hmm. and they'll come and they'll support you. Mm -hmm. So just just do bring, that. But if you do that, bring stuff to sign. Yeah, something to sign, and with. and and don't worry about imposter syndrome. We mm -hmm. all have it. I I was next to some of the most popular oh artists, God, yeah. like legends and whatnot. Golden era, and, yeah, and they artists. would just have lines and lines and lines. And then mm -hmm. there was a couple years where I was partnered with a friend of mine, uh, Mike Kunkel. He did a, a book series called The Hero Bear and the Kid, mm -hmm. and for four straight days, yep. there was a line around the corner and. Mm -hmm. His work, we, we shared a table. His work was right next to my work. Mm -hmm. And people just would walk past my work. And, yeah. you know, they just wanted him to draw his little hero bear, hero bear, hero bear. And um, even our boys. Yeah, even our boys. So it's, it, it, trust me, imposter syndrome, we all feel it. Um, don't, don't be afraid of it. It's just a part of um, life. Be, life. It's part of being an artist. Yeah. So you'll be okay. You're gonna do great. Yeah. And, and and apologies today. I just wasn't really feeling. You know. I don't know. Uh, Arty. Arty today. So uh, my apologies. But um, hopefully Monday I will be back at it. Back at it. Uh, you know, it, it's we've been doing this for three for years three years yeah and and uh and for every, a long week. time we were doing it every single yeah. day of the week yeah. seven days a week we yeah. were going live yeah. and um so i think there there is you know there's times where you just go i'm running out of things to draw i'm running out of things to do and um and so it, we're just feeling a feeling a little bit of that uh, maybe a little vacation might help something but um but right now add that to a lot of our projects just kind of fizzling <laughs> fizzled out and and so it's been it's been a bit of a week but um we yes, love you indeed. all and um you know thank you for hanging out with us and um like i said i i might i might change things up and try try a twitch stream at some point um if but we'll you, let you know yeah yeah you can look for me on twitch and, and see but um, if I do, I'll make an announcement on the community page. Well, but, Autumn says you can do a stream without having to talk, just paint and relax. That would be fun. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, I don't know. I don't know. Um, can you play music on Twitch? I wonder. I don't know. I don't, I have no that's idea. The, that's the thing I don't like about, uh, YouTube is I can't play just music. Yeah. And so that, that kind of feels a little dead, but, um, yeah. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. But we, we, we love you all, and we really appreciate you you know, coming and hanging out with with us. And, um, you know, we just – I think we're all trying to figure life out, and we're just trying to figure yeah. figure out where we fit and, and what yeah. we do and, and – All sorts of those things. Yeah. But um, that's it. That's it. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to go. We'll see you guys. 
Oh, you can play music on Twitch. Just make sure it isn't copyrighted. Well, that is, yeah, that's <laughs> that's the problem. Yeah. On yeah. on TikTok, we were able to when we went live, we were able to. Uh, we could play whatever we play, wanted. Yeah, just play any yeah. music. You know, you could play the Beatles, David Bowie, whatever, and and yeah. it was cool because it was you know it's nice music and people can ask who that was and we could talk about music and and there was just some background noise you know blick says we would watch scott write a grocery list can't wait to see what you guys do oh next. thank you my You're friend so sweet thank you and You're if so and if you all haven't seen uh yesterday's video uh we got a chance to try out uh mm -hmm. one of uh blick sent us utrecht um watercolors and so we yep. did so we went out and did some uh some plein air stuff and if you were here on Wednesday, you saw that we actually did the painting <laughs> here because we started it. Yes, but it's like the live is there, so you know people can see. But it we was did it was started fun. outside. But I did I did go back in with the inks because I just felt that it needed it. You cheated. I did. I totally cheated. I also wrote uh, marigold up on this one, and and then after I inked it, I was like, darn it! So I had to paint over it. So oh you'll kind of notice that. You're crazy. All right, everybody. I am going to end the stream. Thanks for being here with us and putting up with this craziness. <laughs> we appreciate it. And we'll see you guys back for, uh, for Monday. Okay? All right. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.